So today I'm going to show you how to create a deep dubstep wobble in Serum and Ableton Live. So this is the sound. So I'm going to create a new MIDI track. We'll drag Serum in. We'll make sure to turn this down about 7 dB, um, just to avoid any clipping or anything like that. And we'll drag the MIDI across, and then we can delete this. So as with many of the other sounds that I've shown you, this sound is square wave based. So choose basic mini square, and then you can put the unison detune up to about seven. You also want to make sure you take it down to octaves because it's a bass sound. Um, what you can also do is because it's a bass, you want to make sure it's on monophonic so that you only have one note triggering at a time. You can add a little bit of glide. This is sort of optional. Um, push the attack out a bit and then you can push the release out a bit. So what creates the wobbles uh, with these sounds is essentially modulating uh, a filter's cutoff with an LFO. So we've got a low pass filter here, which you can um, initialize by pressing uh, the tick box up there. At the moment there's no movement on it. So what you want to do is you want to drag across LFO one to the filter cutoff. Uh, you want to make sure it's on trigger mode. So on trigger mode, every time Serum receives a new MIDI note, it will re-trigger the LFO. Of course, you want to tweak this. Um, um, what I normally do, because I like this particular rhythm, is I'll change the LFO rate to dotted and choose dotted eighth notes. Uh, and the pattern sort of follows the kick drum patterns as well. So this is the basic sound. Now we can start to process the sound. Um, so people who've seen my videos before might actually want to fast forward a bit through this. Um, what you want to do is duplicate Serum. We'll have this as sub. This is top. Um, we will use EQ3 to split the frequencies at 100 and 700 hertz. Um, so drag this onto the sub to start with. Drag it onto the top. This is the mid. And then you can duplicate it and rename this to high and change the band over here. For the sub, we can just... He has a bit too much movement on that at the moment, which is why we're replacing it with a more consistent sine wave. For this patch, make sure the filter is activated for the sub oscillator as well, because if the filter's going down really far, it might affect the sub note. You can just sort of hear there's a little bit of movement on that. Um, we're going to compress it anyway. just for a bit more consistency. We can now use overdrive here to bring out or to excite certain frequency ranges. Uh, we'll probably favor slightly more kind of subtle um, overdrive in this case. Obviously good to listen to it context at this point. Um, if you feel like it can be a bit, or you want it to be a bit deeper, then you can put a filter over at the end. And 
what you can also do on the mid band is you can add a mono utility. Um, what I'll normally actually do is our mono using alloy below 2K, but if you don't have alloy, then monoing the mid band is a useful way to um, stop the sound from being too wide. As with many of these bass sounds as well, you just want to cut out any real low end rumble. And yet yeah, the final part is, well, I've got some reverb on the send here, so I'm just going to mix it in. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you found the video informative. Uh, please do like and subscribe. My preset pack with similar sounds to this uh, and a lot more is available in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.